up YouTube? Back at it with another recipe. Yeah. I am gonna go ahead and make some salt and pepper pork chops. Bam. Bam. Simple recipe. Uh, salt and pepper pork chops was pretty much our late night go-to Chinatown drunk food. So yeah, pretty excited to do it. So what we got is some pork chops, some green onions, some garlic, and jalapenos and also salt pepper and we're gonna use some oil again I'll, I'll go ahead and leave the recipe down in the down in the description right oh snaps so first things first I'm gonna grab your pork chops and we're just gonna cut it in pieces slices so I'm just gonna cut it into strips and then just work your way around that bone. it up until it gets really frothy. Get some air in that bee. So when it's frothy like this, We'll do half teaspoon, half tablespoon of salt. And let's do a quarter, and half teaspoon of pepper. So let's see how that tastes out first. And then whisk it again. With that all whisked up, Add the pork. And then you let that marinate for at least about 30 minutes. Mix it in there. Get up in that beach. Let that marinate for 30 minutes. In the refrigerator. Cool. So 30 minutes is over of uh, marinating the pork chops. Take some of your cornstarch. I'm just gonna guesstimate probably like two cups, I guess. Two cups. And usually some people like to mix the cornstarch in with uh, your marinade mix, but I don't like doing that because for me it gets clumpy, very clumpy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Pretty much coated in here. And then you want to just go ahead and mix the cornstarch 
try to get it to spread evenly because you don't want no clumps on this. Try deep fry it. until it's golden brown. Add some salt, some black pepper, shut it off, and mix it around. Make sure you turn off your stove. Make all of that blend in together. Salt and pepper pork chops. Let's try it. Enjoy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hmm. I actually want to try it with jalapenos. It's good. It's very crispy. What do you think? Good? Mm -hmm. All right. There you go, guys. Salt and pepper pork chops, simple, easy. And then just serve it over some rice. And yeah, I'll again, I'll leave the recipe in the description down below. Uh, any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.